you know, what's going on, everybody? Ryan McCurdy here, just chilling here, working. I thought I'd go live to do a little Q&A. A lot of people been hitting me about stocks and stuff, sending me messages and emails and stuff. And I love helping everybody. So I just wanted to do a little Q&A right now. If anybody had any direct questions, I could answer them for you right now. Also want to give a little financial tip of the week. <clears throat> so if anybody jumps on and you want to ask a question to me directly, I'll see if I can help. Terrence, what's up, old head? See my man Terrence. Everybody support Terrence Barron. Look him up on Facebook. He has his own business. He got two businesses. He has a cleaning business called ISS Cleaning. I think it's issscleaning.com. Go support him. He will clean your crib. He does carpet cleaning, commercial cleaning, all that. And he has uh, his own clothing line as well called Born Opulence. Make sure you go support him. Man, Terrence Barron is issscleaning.com and Born Opulence. I don't know the website for his hoodies, but you can hit him on Facebook or Instagram and he'll get a hoodie for you. Or he can come do some cleaning services for you. Gotta promote black businesses. Gotta promote black businesses. Buy black. Support black businesses. Mike G, what up, bro? You good? That's my man. I see you. I see you out here grinding. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna definitely come out at you. Yeah, you talking about Dun and Bradstreet? Yeah, I know a little bit about it. Like when I when I first opened my business, someone hit me, someone called me, some white lady called me and was talking about um, you want a Dun and Bradstreet credit approval thing like on your website for your business. And yeah, it's good to like establish business credit, absolutely. You know what I mean? But me, I, she, uh, she wanted like me to pay all this money, and I was like, no, like you know what I mean? So. It's definitely good, you know what I mean? But I focus on business models. Like, how we going to monetize? How we going to make this money? You know what I'm saying? Like, all that other stuff is great, you know what I'm saying? But let's get the model set first. Let's see how we can monetize everything first before we, you know, go in and do all the other things. <clears throat> financial tip of the week I wanted to give was expense ratios. So when you're looking at investments, you want to look at expense ratios. 
This is typically just for mutual funds. Uh, so for mutual funds, an expense ratio is the operating cost of the investment. So like how much does it cost to run the investment? That's going to affect the performance. So I can just show you real quick something. <clears throat> so for this, let's say this fund, so the expense is 0.71%. So thing you want to look at, a lot of people see that I always talk about Vanguard because they have very, very low expense ratios. Low cost investments is going to, um, is going to affect the return. So the lower you pay for the investment to run, is the higher the potential for the return and the uh, operating cost that just goes to like the uh, people who hold the account like T.O. Price or Vanguard and the portfolio managers that money goes to them but Vang this one's like 0.71 percent Vanguard's funds are used are sometimes like 0.2 something or 0, 0.0 something so you, you always want to look at expense ratios yo what's up Renee Walmart what's up how you doing how's up queen um so yeah with expense ratios that's typically just for mutual funds so that's something that people always think about what made me think about this was somebody uh hit me like last week and was like what do you what do you like better funds for vanguard or t-roll price i was like well number one i don't get recommendations but uh the way i look at it is vanguard funds are sold at a lower cost than t-roll price does that mean they're better i don't know who knows but if you have the same different companies, the same funds are invested in the same way. If the expense is lower in one company, the return is going to be better if you have the same investment with two different companies. So you always definitely want to look at the expense ratios. Definitely do that. That's the financial tip of the week. Expense ratios that's primarily for mutual funds. So anytime you're thinking about buying a mutual fund, if a financial advisor contacts you, you talk to somebody and they're trying to sell you something, say, what's the expense ratio? That's the first thing you want to ask them. Anybody else jump on if you want to ask me any financial questions? Go ahead. You know what I mean? Yeah, what's up, Queen? I see you here showing love. That's what's up. For real. I see you spreading the word. That's what's up. Appreciate it. a good group investment um what do you mean by that can you be a little more specific yo cuz what time you, when you get time cuz i need you on I, come on cuz i got you man hit me man come on you been m.i.a cuz what's up hit me you know what i'm saying i'll be around though definitely got a link i mean got a hoodie for you shirt for you whatever just get with me for real i got you hit me hit me i got you cuz but uh, as far as what is a good group investment, what do you mean by that, a good group investment? Be, just be more specific, Queen, and I should be able to answer it. Do you mean like if you get a group of people when you invest, or do you mean like a group investment as far as a mutual fund, which puts a whole bunch of stocks together? You know, just be more specific. All right, bet. All right, bet. Hit me, hit me, uh, cuz. Um, yeah, if you can just type another, type your questions to be more specific, what do you mean by group investment, then I can help you with it.
up, sis. How's work? Another thing I wanted to say, uh, everybody in the Philadelphia area, I posted this, I think, yesterday, the day before, there is going to be a big buy black campaign coming. If you are a black owned business in Philadelphia area or even outside the area, you can still put it on there. It's buyblackapp.net. Go on there, it's free. You can put your business on there and People will see it. I think it's already like 150 businesses on there. It's a new website, buyblackapp.net, trying to house all the black businesses because a lot of people will say, oh, I want to support a black business, but where do I go? All right, go to this website, buyblackapp.net. You'll be able to see that. There's going to be a big Buy Black campaign coming this year. I'm telling y'all right now, you know where you heard it first. People and local people, well, he ain't local, but Kenny Gamble, he's on board. If you in Philly, you know who Kenny Gamble is. You better know who he is. Even if you're outside of Philly, you better know who Kenny Gamble is. He's an OG legend. Uh, Pastor Alan Waller, people in Philly know him. He has the biggest church in Philadelphia. He's on board with the Buy Black campaign. A lot of other, the top imams in the city for the, for the Muslims, they're on board. Um, a lot of other people, uh, top leaders in Philadelphia are on board with this big, big buy black campaign that's going to come very soon. I can't give too many details on what uh, everything is going to be about, how it's going to be brought out to the public, but just know a campaign is coming soon. Go to buy black app, app without the S, buyblackapp.net without the S. So go on there, put your business on there. It's free. It's free advertising. There's already over 100 businesses on there. And it's going to be a big, big buy black campaign. It's coming to Philly. We're hoping to, you know, have it go other places outside of Philly. But it's definitely coming to Philly. The top leaders are involved. I'm telling you, things is about to, it's about to be crazy. Okay, Riri Renee. Uh, all right, how much did you say it cost to sign to start investing in stock? Uh, I mean, it depends. Like, Fifty dollars. You know, you can go. You know, just go to one of the uh, brokerage people. You know, Scott, Scott Trade, E Trade, TD Ameritrade, Vanguard, T World Price, Charles Schwab. Just check them out. See what one you like the best. I'm not in a position to recommend which one to use, but you can use any of them. And for most of them, the minimum is like fifty dollars. So everybody that's watching live, or if you're going to see it, I know if you don't own a stock, I know you got at least fifty dollars to buy something, like. But I was talking about Nike yesterday. Nike's like 56. Like, let me see what it is. Currently 53.97. So you can buy a share of Nike for 53.97, but you're paying 200 dollars for Jordans. You know what I'm saying? So to answer your question, um, so yeah, it's I mean it's it's it doesn't really cost to sign up. It's just you may have to put a minimum of like $50, $100 just to put into the account. And then depending on what stock you want to buy, you just, you know, buy whatever is trading at. Buy one or buy multiple, whatever. But yeah, if you spend it $200 on Jordans, spend $53 to buy a share of Nike. You making Jordan and Nike rich, make yourself rich. Like, um, I was talking about Viacom. Like, everybody last night was watching the, um, the new edition. I, I watched it too. It was great. I loved it. You know what I mean? And how much more richer did we make Viacom last night from watching BET? BET is not a black-owned company. It's owned by Viacom. So if you're going to watch that like I did and everybody else did, at least buy a share of Viacom as well. Watch BET. Watch, uh, buy a share of Viacom as well. Because if you want to know, Viacom owns BET. BET is not black-owned. So think uh, to be an owner. God, we got we to, as a community, we got to change our mindset. We got to think as owners. Like, seriously, we need equity. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter how high your income is. In America, your income can be very high. That's great. But that's not equity. You don't own that. If you have a job with a fucking great-ass 
uh, salary, that's good, but you don't own that. You need equity. Equity is the real American dream. Seriously. People that can get ahead in America own businesses, property, and stocks. Uh, so you want Fidelity. I'm with Fidelity. I found out there are free stock you can invest in. What do you mean by that? What do they mean by free stock? Say that means that if you buy a stock, if you buy a share of a stock, you won't pay a commission fee. So that's free. That's free trades. Maybe. As far as a free stock, I don't know what you mean. And I don't know what they mean if they told you that. So you definitely want to ask them. Um, and if you talk to me, you're still confused, definitely let, let me know. I, I can probably answer the question. But free stock. They may mean you get free trades. Like when you trade, it's free. So you don't pay a um, commission fee for trading. That's what they may mean. <clears throat> Yo, bro. What up, Isaiah? That's my man. He keeps me motiv motivated. Isaiah Fowler, that's my man. I'm telling y'all right now, get with him. Starts with the vision. Everything starts with the vision. That's my bro. You know what I'm saying? For real, he keeps me motivated. Uh, not that I prefer it over real estate. I That's just what I know. You know, um, real estate is just not my thing yet. I will be there. Trust me. Like, you know what I mean? I need to own some properties. But as far as, like, experience, like, I worked for uh, companies that were in the stock market. And I did that day to day. I talked to millionaires, like, every day. White millionaires every day. I know the market. I know the stock market. I know mutual funds. I know stocks. I know bonds. I know estate accounts. I know joint accounts. I know trust accounts. I know IRAs. Raw. Uh, set IRAs. Simple IRAs. I know joint accounts. I know, you know, trust accounts. I just know that stuff to a T. Real estate, I never had experience working in the industry. And um, I'm going to, though. No, I ain't playing. Shit, I ain't playing. I'm going to trust you. I'm going to hit you and you and Dre. I'm going to hit y'all about this real estate. Trust me. I'm just trying to get these business models set. Got my stocks set. And then that's the, like I said, that's the third piece. It's stock. You got to own businesses, stocks, and property. I got two. I need the three. Trust me. You know what I mean? I just. Me, personally, I always looked at real estate as just buying a crib to live. I never looked at it as an investor. Now that I have the investor mind and the ownership mind, once I really go back in, I'm going to look at real estate as far as, uh, you know, being a, a landlord and having properties to rent out. I always looked at it as, like, let me try to buy a house. Uh, let me try to buy a house. Yeah. Let me try to buy a house so I can... Um, so I can live, you know what I mean? Like, let me just buy a house so I can live. Um, I never looked at it as, as an investor, but trust me, I'm on it. You know what I mean? I'm going to definitely hit you. Brother Dre, what's up? My brother Dre, that's my man. Andre C. Hatch, that's my man. The Black Real Estate uh, School uh, the, the Notary Business School .com, I believe it is, or Andre's Notary School. That's my man, for real. Heavy. I mean, he heavy. Get with him. But I'm going to definitely get with y'all with the real estate, trust me. You know what I mean? I don't prefer stocks over real estate. This is what I know. You know what I mean? Just like you may not know the stocks like how I do. You know what I mean? So, trust me. I'm going to get with y'all, though. I see y'all. For real? <laughs> Listen. I'm going to definitely holler at you. I need that. 3.30, yeah. And I got, like, some, Atlanta's really, like, my second home. Like, I got so much family in Atlanta. Like, it's, it's crazy. Every time I go there, I can't even, I don't even have enough time to see all my cousins down there because I don't have enough time. But that's my second home. So I'm going to definitely be down there. I definitely need some property in Atlanta. Any good weed stocks? Um, Somebody just hit me. My aunt was talking to me the other day about United. What was it? United. Uh, well, I would have to check my Facebook message. She was talking about United something. I think cannabis company or something. Yeah, United cannabis. This one. C 
see it. Somebody was talking to me about this one. So you could check. Maybe not a problem with it is if you see it says OTC market, it doesn't say NYSE like New York Stock. Though that one trades on the over-the-counter market, which is different than the New York Stock Exchange. So I don't really mess with the over-the-counter market. I only mess with like New York Stock Exchange because it's regulated way better. But a lot of people have been hitting me about weed stocks. I got to get some. You know what I mean? My bro, Anthony Burton, hit me. He was telling me he dropped some uh, symbols that I got to check out. I still got to check them out. I definitely got to check out some weed stocks. I just, like me, I don't really get into the nuances. I just buy what I use, build wealth. Warren Buffett, buy and hold. Whatever I use, I buy. But I'm going to definitely get some weed stocks. Isaiah said, hell no shit about stocks. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. Like, you know what I mean? But I, I mean, I know a little about real estate. I know more than the average person, but I'm not like, you know what I mean? I don't, I ain't gonna lie, I don't own no properties yet. And, uh, you know, I don't know the nuances of real estate, but I will, trust me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I will. Say less, bro. Oh, yeah, you already know. You know what I'm saying? Escape the Corbett Plantation. Only certain people can wear this shirt. Like me, I legitimately can wear this shirt because I escaped the Corbett Plantation. I'm still escaping. Like, I'm still running. I ain't fully escaped yet, but I ain't there. But you know, yeah, this is uh, the Your Black World store. I'm affiliated with the Your Black World store. And I'm at a black business school. Um, if you want one of these shirts, I can put the link in. It's store. Yourblackworld.net. I have a video link I can put in there. But yeah, you know what I mean? You already know I support. I'm on the wave, bro. I'm on the wave. What's a good stock to buy into? I don't know. I don't give advice. So I'm playing. But uh, honestly, I don't know. I don't give recommendations. Um, what's a good stock for you to buy is going to be different than what's a good stock for me to buy. You know, I don't know your age. I don't know how you feel about risk. I don't know, you know, what you're looking for in for the investment. Are you saving for retirement? Are you saving for college for your kids? Are you saving just for yourself? Are you married and saving for, you know, you and your spouse have, a, you know, want to get a joint account? I don't know. I would say, you know, just buy, buy what you use. Just have an ownership mentality. Whatever you use, like if you watch ESPN all day, buy a share of Nike, uh, buy a share of uh, Disney. You know what I mean? Like seriously, uh, you know, e uh, Disney owns ESPN. So if you're watching basketball all the time or sports all the time, buy a, some, buy a share of Disney retirement. Um, I mean, how, it depends on how, how old are you. You know what I mean? It depends, you know, are you? 25 are you 40 are you 60 you know if you let me know how old you are then maybe i can direct you a little bit better um as far as retirement that's definitely going to depend on how old you are um but yeah like i said if you you if you watch espn all the time buy disney you know what i mean like they just sent me i see what they sent me 30 plus my age i'm about to be 30 a minute i feel old like they just sent me uh where is it Disney. Walt Disney Company annual meeting of stockholders. So I get to vote on people on their board because I own some shares of Walt Disney. It's like really simple. Like it's just really simple. You know what I mean? You watch ESPN all the time, buy Disney. 30. Um, generally speaking, if you're 30, you're young, as far as like stock market concerned, you just want to look to be aggressive. Generally, you know what I mean? So I would just say look for something that's maybe a little aggressive because you have time for it to grow. You really don't want to touch it for a long time. So generally, people that are 30 and saving for retirement, you just want to be aggressive. You know, maybe get some mutual funds that are aggressive, uh, a little risky, or individual stocks that may be. Maybe look at blue chip stocks. 
those are like large established companies like Walmart, Target, McDonald's. Those are like considered blue chip, blue chip stocks or like um, large cap stocks because they're very large companies, well established companies. Um, you can look to that. Those aren't necessarily considered overly risky because they're established. Uh, stocks that are usually um, riskier are called small cap stocks. So those are smaller size companies. So smaller size companies, companies that aren't that established are going to be more risky because they're not really established yet. So you can look into small cap stocks, um, large cap, mid cap. There are mid cap stocks too. Mid cap stocks are middle size companies. So maybe a little established, but not your big like Walmart companies. Um, maybe look at mid, um, mid cap stocks stuff like that. Um, but generally, if you're 30, you want to save for retirement, you want to be, you know, aggressive, generally. No problem. Audrey, I see you just joined. I love this queen. She shows so much support and so much love. Y'all wouldn't even believe. I know she got her. She working on her mobile notary uh, business. I know that's going to come soon. I rock with her heavy. She shows love. So, salute to Audrey. Audrey just joined. anybody has any other questions you can ask them <clears throat> I won't be going too much longer uh, so just feel free to ask something right now I can definitely come back in whenever y'all want I'm gonna try to do this at least once a week do some little Q&A for y'all just see if I can help I just want to spread the word and help the community that's all I want to do so I'm gonna try to do this at least once a week probably more I'm gonna try to do it every couple days if y'all I mean if y'all really want me to like for real I just want to help so Anybody else got questions, just feel free to ask. Yes, yes, absolutely. Absolutely. I agree 100%. Yo, Sam, what up? That's my bro down Florida. My thoughts with him heavy. He got big things coming soon. I can't even, I'm not even going to talk about what he got cooking. But Sam Ford, he got some shit coming. So just look out for him. Yo, cuz. Gristle. That's big cuz right there. You know what I mean? He's been showing love and supporting. You know what I'm saying? Big cuz Gristle. I see. Hit me later too, cuz. Call me tonight. So what I'm looking at is that buyblackapp.net website. I'll show y'all a little bit of it. Oh, yeah, you already know, bro. I got you. It's kind of how it looks. Uh, it's like a business directory. <clears throat> buyblackapp.net. So I'll give you all listings. And let me see. 
So director. So it'll, you know, break it down and like what you want. Antiques, audio visual, bakery, carpet cleaning, uh, books, you know, whatever. The guy was saying, the guy who be heading most of it, he was saying like, all the boutiques in our community is only five on his website. It should be way more than five. Definitely a lot of black owned boutiques. So this is the buyblackapp.net website. And uh, you can put your business on there. It's free. Free advertising. Black businesses. So there's no excuse for not knowing where one is because you can go to this website. <clears throat> so if nobody else has any more questions, then I can just jump off. If anybody has any more questions, you can hit me directly through uh, inbox or go to my website, www.mccrayfinancialsolutions.com. If you want to support the cooperative economics movement, you can go to ourblackapparel.com, O-U-R-B-L-A-C-K-A-P-P-A-R-E-L.com. If you want to support that movement, you can get a t-shirt or a hoodie. And like I said, just go to my website directly. If you want to have questions, you can email me or you can hit me on Facebook uh, inbox. And if you have questions, you can ask me that then. So I think I'm going to jump off for now, but I will be doing way more Q&As coming up. So, um, yeah, if you got a question, just ask me.